помилуй нас грешных, Господи Иисусе Христе. Now, usually I don't believe the old ways are still going on, but, you know, just in case, you know, this guy was persecuting a, a Russian Orthodox priest. He took the cross from the priest, threw it on the ground, and then shortly after, he grew ill and died. Now, of course, this could be a propaganda piece, but if this guy did die, that is sure one hell of a coincidence that he died after persecuting a Christian uh, le leader. So uh, there's ongoing, um, like... The shithead Ukrainians are persecuting Christians uh, just because they're Rush Orthodox and, and they don't want to give up their doctrine or their identity or their traditions. That's their traditions that they believe in. And if you truly believe in something, you're not just going to give that up for political correctness or, or the sake of political identity. And of course, uh, I think I saw Gonzalo Lira, Coach Red Pill, go, well, our religion is political. Well, of course it is, buddy, because it's defending the tradition, the faith, and the doctrine that you've been raised and brought up in. It's, it's protecting what you believe is right in an unjust and unrighteous world. And they're not going to bend me just because Zelensky says, hey, you may have connections to Russians. No, that ain't going to fly. And regardless, uh, let's just say this was persecution against Catholics or Mormons or literally any other Christian group out there. I'd be hard-pressed to not be involved with that because uh, more than likely that will end in like eternal damnation being sent to the hot box forever that sure as hell doesn't sound like fun to me but not only that the the physical uh, and very real things that can happen to you if persecution keeps going against a specific group of people that's going to be pretty bad too in a physical very real world sense um, so basically my warning to the ukrainian people and ukraine is stop persecuting Christian people because your country will cease to exist. All throughout human history, there's been countries that have been doing what you're doing, and they don't fucking exist anymore. So, I don't know. If I were you, I'd watch my ass. I would leave Christian people be, Russian, Orthodox, or otherwise. Let them worship in faith, and leave them the fuck alone. Otherwise, I don't know. I, I can't say. I don't have really a great internet connection with the chief upstairs but i can tell you this much uh if it's one thing he doesn't like is persecution of his people like period so uh good luck getting these hardcore believers to change their doctrine and faith based off your political horseshit and loyalty to a western uh plutocrat Zelensky, because nine times out of ten, I think they're going to pick Jesus and God over some plutocratic shithead. Patriotism is dead. There's only rebels and tyrants now. Strange. territory.